A few trees there, a few trees here. The fall colors starting to show. It's a special time of year when our trees prepare for the season to come. It's a great time to wander around. Dr. Christy Rollinson is a forest ecologist with the Morton Arboretum. This year has been a really great growing year for most of the trees out here. So they're coming into fall with big green leaves. And so that means that they're healthy and can put a lot of energy and take their time in getting that green out and it leads to this very vibrant color that I think we're in store for this year. Many come to the Morton Arboretum to take in the changing colors. The color of the leaves, how vibrant they are, plus the timing of when they change can really tell you a lot about the health of a tree. So if your tree is changing color weeks earlier than other similar trees in the area, or if the color is just kind of yellow and not that great, that can also be um, a clue that we should look deeper and try to figure out uh, what's wrong with the tree. So what causes the leaves to change? Is it less daylight or colder nights? There's definitely some trigger with the daylight, but it's the cold that really speeds it along. But why do leaves change color? So the change in the color is actually the removal of green. It's breaking down the green, the chlorophyll, that's the energy of the energy house for the tree. And when it does that, it reveals these other colors, bright yellows that are always there, but hidden by the green. The trees are removing that energy from the leaves and preparing for winter but there's still much we don't know about this process. We still haven't been able to link the vibrancy of color or the timing to how well it sets up the tree for the next year. And it's kind of what does good fall color this year mean for the tree and mean for next year? And so how can we use the information of what we see from day to day to better plan for the future? Scientists like Dr. Rawlinson continue to study trees year round to get some answers. Get out and explore your neighborhood. Trees that are growing healthy and receiving lots of light will tend to be the ones that'll be the most vibrant color. So it's a great opportunity to just kind of walk down your block or walk over to the nearest park and see what's going on. But now it's time to enjoy the show the trees put on for us. Dr. Rollinson is the best. She's so fun to talk to and you learn so much about trees when I talked to her. I talked to her many times over the past couple of years. But there's something interesting that you need to know about too because if you have a tree that looks like it's struggling, maybe the leaves have turned early or you're not sure if the tree's in good health, the Morton Arboretum has a plant clinic. So you can call the Morton Arboretum or email them. There's the phone number and address Ow. and ask them a question about the health of your trees. It's really a great program they have out there at the Morton Morton Arboretum, but you know, the trees, we're starting to see them change a little bit and there are some trees out there that really have some brilliant colors already. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.